CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. A great performance uh, with the bat by you today, so your, your highest uh, test score. So um, how confident were you coming out to bat um, on this pitch? Um, I wasn't that confident after getting a duck in the first round. Um, but when uh, Charlotte Edwards came to the crease, having your caps in, who normally opens coming in at seven, um, it was quite nice. I, I felt the pressure ease and um, she scored quite freely. So I knew I had a job just to stay in at the other end and we built a good partnership. And getting out before tea, how disappointing yeah, I tripped over my feet, so I was not really very happy at all. But, um, I mean, I did the hard work and I was gutted that I got out, but um, we set up a good platform now. In the end, I guess your partnership with Charlotte was the main factor in you being able to set them 185, and we've seen that all the scores in the match around that mark, and, and now at the end of the day's play, it looks like it's a pretty good, good total to have set them. Yeah, I mean, we were, we were going uh, for 200 just to, for that mental... Um, that on the board but uh, yeah we, we've put a good score on the board um, and, and getting them five down it's a good position to be in. Almost your entire partnership happened while Elise Perry was out of the bowling attack. Were you surprised that uh, they left her out for, for that long? I mean she's bowled a lot of overs in the game I know she's a very fit girl but there comes a time when when you have to be rested um, especially when there's going to be a new ball hopefully at some stage so um, it was surprising that she didn't come in for shorter spells but um, we didn't mind that much. <laughs> Sarah Taylor's something uh, of Fields was incredibly quick. Was that a plan? I'd like to say so, but um, no, I think that's just a really, really good keeping. Um, I mean, the pitch is doing a bit, it just nipped back a bit, and um, just great hands, and he, you'd want Sarah behind the stumps to, to do that. And how much of a boom was that to the team? Oh, that, that got us um, rallied again. I think uh, it just created the last 20 minutes of, of pressure to the Australians. It really important to get her out as well. She batted really well in the first innings, and I guess she's the backbone of their innings. She's the, the fighter in there who you know it's going to be hard to get her out. So to not have to get her out now going into tomorrow, it's a big boost. Yeah, I mean, always to get a captain out, it's, it's massive. And we recognised when she came to the crease that she was a big wicket to take. So it was, it was massive for us and would ho hopefully continue tomorrow morning where we left off. Do you feel more confident now with five wickets down with, I think, 128 still to get than you did at the beginning of the Australian second innings, the fourth innings? Yeah, especially how they, they got off to quite a flyer. So um, getting Villani out quite early after the first over was, was quite big. So we're, we're not going to ease up, though. Um, not going to be relaxed till hopefully we take five wickets. Just a word on Charlotte and how she took control in that, in that middle period there, especially after she was injured uh, the day before. How important was, was her demeanour and her leadership at that point? Oh, I mean, she's just she's just a brilliant captain to have in your team. You just want her there, and like I said, coming at seven, um, that's it was it was good because she didn't have to face a new ball, older ball, bowlers tired. And I think she took full advantage. And how's the, the wicket playing out there now? We saw some cracks opening mm. up a bit. What do you think is going to happen on that last day with that pitch? Hopefully, they can open up a bit more. But um, I mean, you, you never know what's going to happen. We might not hit the cracks, so um, we're just going to keep bowling in our areas and stay patient. It was a pretty special spell from, from Kate Cross as well. Her first test match and to, to do that here in an Ashes test was, was pretty special. Oh, she's loving life at the moment. Um, I kept asking her, you're right to, to bowl one more. She's like, no, no, keep going, keep going. So, I mean, it's just, it's just really nice to have three main seamers in your team. Um, and then you've got me and Nat Siver who can just hold up an end, hopefully. So it's just a good team spirit at the moment. Is there a reason that uh, the brunt changed ends to the printable stand end this, this innings? Don't know. <laughs> um, not got a clue. Um, Charlotte was captain at that point, so unsure. Just yesterday when Charlotte was off the field, you were vice captain. How was that for you? How did you find that? Um, quite nerve wracking. I've never done it in a test match before. I've done a few 2020s, but I mean, we have plans in place. Everyone knows what, what each other's going to do, where bowlers going to bowl and field. So we're quite relaxed in a way. And I think everyone just kind of comes together uh, when Charlotte comes off the field and, and know we, we've got a fight on our hands still. And in terms of your bowling as well, you've bowled really economically throughout both innings. Is that sort of your role in the team to dry up the runs? Yeah, I think it's kind of my pitch that um, the cracks and things, that's, it's on my length. So if I just keep bowling the ball and, and hopefully the ball will keep doing something off the cracks.